Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate and today I wanted to show you the mid game towards the late game, alright? Because I feel like this is a content that I have not done. I didn't want to keep repeating myself with the same content. It's gonna get boring, you're gonna get... Mm, what is this guy on about again? So here I am guys. I am trying to farm as high as I can. And there you go, in the middle of the, in the middle of the thick of it. Okay, let's see where we are. Okay, I don't have two thousand diamonds, which means I have to go twenty-five five for all of it, which is what the standard upgrade is. I do like this a lot. Some people do the twenty-five one one one, so that means twenty-five percent, one percent upgrade for the rest of it. However, for me, I prefer the 5%. It just kind of makes a bit more sense for me. However, you do what is best for you and what works for you. So if you want to do 1%, that's fine by me. If you want to do 5%, also fine by me. All right. And there we go. I'm going to let me activate that contract. Even though it did not talk about contracts, I did think that, hey, you know, I like contracts. I'm going to use contracts. May not be the fastest way as you can tell i was second before i went for a shower i thought hey let me take a quick break and i'll come back to it and for me to be able to get to my price all i have to hit is eighty-five thousand. so we're not too far away from it guys should be pretty easy to hit that okay let me get that terrifying pack and I think I am just going to wait here for a little bit. So I do want to uh, unlock the other uh, contract for gold. But for now, I'm going to stick to this. All right, guys. Very, very important. You do want to have mana boost, okay? Mana boost is the strongest item or sort of secondary or however you want to call it. I don't really know the name for it. But that is very, very important. What I mean by that is if you look at the mana boost, um, it just significantly increases your mana, it sustains your mana, and it helps you get through all of the stages. So that is absolutely um, of the most important that I would want to point out. And guys, as you can tell, there is still another 20,000 to go. Even though I'm very close to level 8, you might be thinking there's only two more levels to go. However, if you look at the numbers, right? From 60k to 85k, that is almost more, just a little bit over one third of a way to go. So even though you're close to level eight, you might be thinking, hey, this must be really close. Well, not really. You still have at least one third of the way to go. So you have to be patient and it does slow down dramatically. And when you look at the bar on the left, you might be starting to get, oh, you know, I'm so far away. This is so far. I can't do it. I can't do it. Why is it moving so slow now? Because the distance is a lot further and you just have to be a bit more patient. Plus, look at it, guys. Shadow Clone, you really don't have to do much. You just have to sit here. You just have to wait. And you just have to let it keep going and keep going and keep going. And it just does its thing, guys. So that is actually pretty awesome. And that's probably one of the best things about Shadow Clone. Uh, it is very powerful, very strong. And it just keeps going and you don't really have to do much. You don't even have to swipe or anything. But I do enjoy playing it. So... Um, hence that's why actually Shadow Clone was one of my first build because I wanted a lazy way to farm uh, And as time went by I go hey, maybe I want to change it up to uh, Clan ship and I used that for about three to four years and then I, I got sick of it And once I reached transcendence, I decided hey, maybe I'm gonna go with a pet build So that is why AT is actually very very important abyssal tournament If you do not know what I'm talking about every Friday we have AT which is what we're in right now it just really just gives you an overview of what's going on. Uh, it gives you an overview of how it should be played, how it works, uh, what what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and you get to really try it out in real time what is best for you. And like guys, at the bottom here, I have 131 equipment. I, it, it is a significant amount, and the rest of it just goes into diamonds, which is fine, because at the end of the day, I am going to get diamonds anyway. Ooh, 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 guys. This is by far one of the best, right? You get Titan Skip and you get Mana Boost. I cannot ask for anything better, guys. That is absolutely stunning. And then for the rest of it, guys, it really just doesn't matter. Look at that, 146, okay? Uh, the damage is 146, whereas this one is 149. It doesn't really matter. You just have to keep moving on because you're only playing this for 24 hours. So it isn't going to change significantly. The only thing you have to watch out, guys, like I told you, is the Mana Boost. That is key. Alright, and the rest of it that comes with it is a bit of a bonus. 
So that's it for me guys. I thought I'd just show you a quick rundown of how towards the end of AT actually looks. And let me just show you a little bit more. So I'm actually getting all the enchantments going. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, let me just quickly level up just to show you what's happening. Uh, I didn't really have to level up there, but hey, it's fine guys. I'm just gonna do it. It's not a big deal. Um, because I just wanna get you guys to see what I am seeing on my page. And let me just get this running. And there we go. Okay, so there you go. Enchantment is basically a buff towards your relics. And I'm able to buff my relics and as I have discovered everything by now. Ooh, wait, 25. Ooh, I do have 2,000. Okay, perfect example. Gonna max this bad boy out. Keep it at 25% just because you might have a little bit of a fat finger, guys. If you have a fat finger, you might hit the wrong button. And so there you go, 24, 25% and then 5% on the rest of these bad boys. And as you can tell, look at that, it is going up significant amount of levels and that is what you want. And this is going to give you a huge boost and you should be able to go up another 50, uh, is it 50, sorry, uh, another 15,000 uh, levels. And that way you can get up to your farm of level 10 faster than ever. All right, let me see. Let me attach that, get that 800. Let's keep it going. And there you guys go. So this is how we run it. And this is how Shadow Clone works. And guys, I will drop a video on um, a bit of an explanation on the raids. Um, it's actually quite simple and it's not that complicated, but to get your head around how simple it is, will take a bit of time. Um, certain principles work and certain principles don't work and I will talk a little bit about that as we come to it. Uh, I'll probably do that on let's say maybe a Sunday or a Monday where I have a bit more time uh, to kind of take it through it during the more uh, quieter period of it and that is absolutely very very important and as you can tell the more damage you do the more you contribute to your clan the more you contribute to your clan the stronger you guys get together as a whole. So that will make a huge difference. I, by no means I'm a professional, I'm just a novice. It's just what works for me. And if you guys have any other extra comments that can help people, definitely please drop it in there. Uh, we're here as a community, not because I'm amazing. I'm here, we're here as a community so that we can continue to learn from each other, spread the word, give a bit of awareness and get the game going so that people can find out how to play the game properly. All right, thank you guys very much for uh, tuning in today. Drop a like, drop a subscribe. That will help the algorithm help me a lot. And thank you very much. I hope you have a great start to the weekend. And I'll catch you at the end of the tournament, at the ADT Abyssal Tournament at the end of it. And I'll catch you on the weekend. Catch you later. Bye-bye.